haunted faces, broken bodies. These children are the legacy of a war fought 50 years before they were born. Children so badly deformed their parents cannot cope. Most will spend their entire lives in hospitals like this one in Ho Chi Minh City, previously called Saigon. Many will prematurely die here. Their parents' parents were exposed to Agent Orange during the Vietnam War. In the 1960s, the US sprayed millions of gallons of the chemical from planes and helicopters into the jungle. Agent Orange contained highly toxic dioxin. Its purpose was to kill the trees the North Vietnamese soldiers hid under and destroy the rice fields so they'd have no food. But they were not the only things affected. The chemical polluted the food chain and the waterways. In time, people became sick with cancer. And they carried it in their genes. New generations were born with terrible deformities. Today, millions of lives are still blighted. Those like Dang Thi Hua. She was born 17 years after the war ended, but her entire life has been shaped by it. With deformed legs and feet, Hua can only walk with difficulty. Like her grandfather, father and brother, she is a victim of Agent Orange. I was sad to see my friends go to school, dance, sing and play together when I could not. Now they are grown up, they have jobs and earn money, but I cannot. At my age, my friends are getting married and have families, but I cannot. Hua's grandfather, Dang Nok Ta, was a soldier living near the Ho Chi Minh Trail, where the chemical was widely used. He developed cancer and died. The family's first abnormalities were seen in his son, Hua's father, Dang Van Sun. Before Hua was born, Sun and his wife had another child, a boy, but he died the day after he was born. The Americans caused many consequences. They caused pain for the Vietnamese people, pain which every day affects their lives. Now the U.S. is back in Vietnam, attempting to put right some of the wrongs. This was the former U.S. airbase at Da Nang, where much of the Agent Orange was stored. Some leaked or was washed into the ground. An enormous concrete enclosure is being built to decontaminate thousands of cubic meters of dioxin-polluted soil by superheating it to more than 300 degrees centigrade. This is the first site of Agent Orange contaminated soil where clearance work has begun. But the Vietnamese government says so far it's identified 29 dioxin hotspots across the country. The decontamination is costing the US government $84 million. There's also money to help victims obtain medical care. But the US is resisting Vietnamese calls for compensation. Our focus uh, when it comes to dioxin is the remediation and assessment work. But we are, as I said, working with the Ministry of Health uh, to improve systems for care in country for all Vietnamese, regardless of cause for their illness. This center at Da Nang cares for children and young people with psychological difficulties linked to Agent Orange. Some of those here are 30 years old but still cannot read or write. The center tries to equip them to cope with basic work. Those working with victims want the US to do more. If the US gave more active support to clean up dioxin in the soil and the water, I think there would be less people affected in the future. Now 20 to 25 percent of victims are third generation. If America did more, I think the numbers would reduce. Back at the Ho Chi Minh Hospital, Pam T. Lin shows the resilience of the young. Born without arms, she has learned to write with her feet. Gia Lam will one day try to do the same. Dr. Tan has been treating victims for 25 years and has seen the human cost of Agent Orange. 
I think the U.S. use of Agent Orange was inhuman. It has caused so many injuries. Even the U.S. soldiers in Vietnam were affected by the dioxin. All people should condemn its use and say it should never, ever be used again. This is a legacy which as yet has no end. Disabilities are being passed on generation to generation. Even now, 38 years after the Vietnam War ended, babies are still being born with deformities directly linked to Agent Orange. The US says it's committed to the cleanup at Da Nang and is in discussions over decontamination at more dioxin hotspots. It says this to questions over whether Agent Orange should ever have been used. That's a, a, an aspect of the war that is in part of that uh, painful history that we have. We're excited to be here addressing it through this project. It's a painful history that continues to affect people like Hua and thousands more adults and children condemned to a life in care and a future without hope. For Assignment Asia, I'm Martin Lowe with the victims of Agent Orange in Vietnam.